here five years ago, actually. Here five, lots changed since, well, not that much has changed, but I, I'm still not married, still no kids. I am a, I did become an uncle for the fifth time. <laughs> but don't applaud that. Who cares about being an uncle? Uncles don't do anything. Have you been to the bookstore? There's a whole section on parenting. There's no uncle books. <laughs> Nobody ever wrote like what to expect when your sister's expecting. <laughs> now, a lot of magazines about parenting. There's no uncle weekly magazine. What would an article be in that magazine? Is your nephew out of control with drugs and alcohol? Well, since it's not your problem, here's some weekend getaway ideas. <laughs> Can't believe five years since I've been here before, 30 years since I graduated high school, I was just at my reunion. You know, Facebook has ruined the high school reunion as we know it. You used to go to a high school reunion. It was fascinating because you hadn't seen people in years. It was fun to see what happened to everyone. I went to mine. I see everybody on Facebook. I could have stayed home. I'm going up to people like, oh my God, you haven't changed a bit since that new profile pic you posted last night. <laughs> Come on. That, that's funny. I think dating is a lot easier. Now, we got text messaging now. When I first started trying to date, you had to call a girl up and have what's known as a conversation. Calling girls up, I, I'd be shaking like a leaf. I'm like, hey, de, but, so, uh, but, de, maybe we can have coffee or something. But texting is easy. I'm like a different person. I'm like, yo, baby girl, what you doing with your fine self? <laughs> Why don't you shake that booty on over here? Then she gets to my apartment. I'm like, girl, you looking fine tonight. She's like, I'm standing right here. Why are you still texting me? <laughs> that happened to me. No! What? Uh oh. Keep going, Do I keep, keep going. Go? No, it happened to me recently. Simon, I got a joke for you. You should have waited. You, you jumped the gun on this one because you're going to love this next bit. You're going to love By it. accident, I texted my cousin Sheila, come over, I'm horny. Right. But I, as soon as I realized what I did, I apologized. I said, oh my God, cousin Sheila, I'm so sorry. That, uh, that was actually meant for somebody else. So uh, sorry you came all the way over here. <laughs> my name is Oz Perlman. I'm 37 years old. I live in New York City and I'm a mentalist. As a kid, I knew how to observe people, engaging their reactions, know what they would do. But when I told my family my dream, which was being a mind reader and mentalist, they thought I was crazy. So I got a job at a major Wall Street bank. I would stare at my computer day in, day out, and think, is this the life I was meant to live? I decided, no, I decided I'm gonna go for it. And so I left that cushy job to go for my passion, my dream. Howie, the movie star you were focused in on was? Tom Cruise. No. So when I got the standing ovation and Heidi said to me, I want more, more, more. More of us. That's when I knew I made the right choice. And at a certain point, you start to think, I'm going to win America's Got Talent. The act finishing in third place is O's World. I was devastated, but despite not winning America's Got Talent, it launched my career into an entirely different level. I performed on stadiums for tens of thousands of people at once, for presidents, for you name the movie star, I've probably been at one of their parties. It's just unbelievable. But there's that one pesky box that I haven't checked, and that's winning. It's great to see you, Oz. You too, Howie. You were on AGT 2015, and how did you do? Third place. You came in third place. Over and over, I heard you should have won, so you know what? This is my moment to redeem. Yes! yes. Woo! You like that? Take us there, buddy. People ask me all the time, what was it like being on AGT? And I tell them two things. First, I promised myself that if I ever had the chance to perform for you judges, in all of America again, I would savor every single moment. And the second thing I tell people is that America's Got Talent turned my life completely upside down in the best possible way. Because moments are what define us. Howie, Heidi, Alicia, close your eyes. Go back in time to a day, a month, a year. Focus on it and the emotional significance it played for you. Now, everyone in the audience, grab your wallet, take a bill, any bill you want, and hold it over your head. Let's get Terry out here to help us out. Terry Cruz, everybody! Terry, 
go to any person you want and grab any bill. Okay. One dollar. Okay. Please hand that to Simon. Fold yes. it in half. Simon, fold it Thank again you, in half, please. I never want to touch it. I don't want to see. You know what? I don't even want you touching it. Place it in an envelope yourself. Push it all the way in there. All the way. I'm Push trying. it. And hold it right here up in full view. Are all three of my other judges focused on that moment in your life? Mm -hmm. Heidi, you can't contain your joy. This is a very happy moment. Person, people, people, more than one. Are you thinking of five different people? I am. And I see them, four of your kids, and then one more. It's a man, he's on his knee. This is your engagement, am I right? Yes. <laughs> Heidi, do you have your phone? I do. Please go to the calculator. What I'd like you to do is you're gonna type in the day, the month, and then the year, please. Alicia, I saw you smile. I saw you relive this moment. Be honest. There is absolutely no way I could know what you're thinking of. Is that right? Correct. A word. What is the name in mind? What's associated with this memory? Misty. Are you being for real? Yes, I'm for real. Not even close. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> Wow. But wait. What if we could combine two moments? Heidi, hit plus. Mm -hmm. And Alicia, what I'd like you to do is type in the day, the month, and then the four digit year. Go ahead, please. Okay. Don't touch anything else. Well, that's how we add them together. Okay. <laughs> Heidi. Yes. Tell me, what are your two moments combined? Five. Five. Eight. Eight. Two. Two. Zero. Nine. Zero, six, one. Zero, six, and one. Howie, you have a moment that you're focused on. Okay. Focus on the significance. Oh my, it's getting hot and heavy. Woo! What is the day? The 16th. The month? March. Oh, three. What year? 80. Heidi. Yes. Let's combine your three moments. Hit the plus. Now type in one, six, zero, three, one, nine, eight, zero. Hit equals. Okay, so Terry, you could have taken any bill. Simon, you've been holding it throughout. Open up that bill. Every bill is printed with a unique serial number. Please read me that number. Seven. Seven. Four. Four, next. Two. Two. No. Four. Four. One. One. Zero. Zero. Four. Yes. One. Oh, no! Remember what I told you, the two things I tell everybody. America's Got Talent turned my life completely upside down. And I want to savor every moment. My name's Ben Black. I do performances with archery and crossbows. And in 2016, I was on Britain's Got Talent. It was one of the most amazing experiences in my life. You've got four yeses. But in the semifinals, I brought Alicia on stage to help me with it. Don't worry, you're safe. But unfortunately, some cords must have gotten crossed over and ended up causing more than one arrow to fire. I was devastated. It, didn't go right and I didn't go through. Ben Black. I still went on to perform European tours, US tours, but I haven't done that performance of the crossbow roulette since then. But then the champion's opportunity came up and I'm like, man, I've got to do that. That's why tonight I'm performing the exact act that did not go right on Britain's Got Talent. This is the biggest night of my life. It's my last shot at the redemption. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you guys? Long time no see. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? What year is it that you entered Britain's Got Talent? 2016. And the act that you're doing tonight, is this something that we've seen before? Actually, it is. Oh. 
Alicia. Oh. Three years ago, semifinals of Britain's Got Talent, I put my life into your hands. Now, it didn't go exactly as planned, but we both survived. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Luckily. But I want redemption. Alicia, will you please join me on stage? I would. <laughs> Champions is all about. You get another shot. He's nervous. Yeah, he's nervous. If something goes wrong again, he may not be so lucky this time. As you can see behind me, I have crossbow roulette. Right down here, there are five targets. I'm going to be standing right in the middle yeah. with an arrow pointed directly at my heart. Okay. There's five levers here. There's five crossbows. These levers have a string attached to the trigger of one of these crossbows at random. Now, I don't know which one it is. You don't know what it is. Nobody does. When I am over there and I'm attached to that wall, you're going to look at these numbers. And when you select one, just like last time, you're going to pull it off, place it down below so we don't lose it. On my command, you're going to grab this lever and pull it back very slowly. Okay. Now, you can pick any number, but you only get to pull four of the five. Okay. Can I ask a question? What happens if she pushes the wrong one in the wrong order? Do you get shot in the heart? Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. But I believe in her, and we're not afraid of anything, right? No, I'm not afraid. Are you ready for this? Not ready. Terry, please. If you don't mind to help attach me to this, yes, sir. I wouldn't do that. OK. Nothing like walking in front of live crossbows. Alicia, there's five choices. You're pulling four. The first one is the easiest. OK, I'm going to go with number three. Perfect. On my command, you're going to pull it back very slowly. Oh my god. Ready? Now. I can't look. Oh, no. Why is he not going? Keep going. All the way. Hold on. Something's wrong. Hold Something's on. wrong. Oh. Terry. Should I take you out? Take out? Yeah, I forgot to turn the safety off. Oh, okay. okay. No, okay. don't go there right now. Don't pull anything. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> Select it below. Okay, I'm going with number three again then. When you're ready. You know, he's really nervous right now. Okay, you ready? Go. Slowly, you're gonna pull it. Ready? Now. You should stop it. You should give him the buzzer. Now. Oh, it's not working! It's jammed. Careful. It's jammed. Should I go to the next number? Another buzzer. Should I go to the next number? No. 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 Then push no. the buzzer. 
The next one, yes. No. no. You say no, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. No, don't do it. It's a wrap. It's over. It's over. That's a rough way to go. That is a rough way to go on Champions. No, that I couldn't let you do. Ben, I, I believe this is meant not to happen. Because perhaps you're right. Yeah. yeah. Because if we hadn't stopped that, I genuinely believe we would have had our first death on this show. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you. You're such a nice guy. I'm sorry that it didn't work out. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, he's a nice guy. He, he didn't feel confident about it. Like, he was nervous. This is the first time that I've seen something go so, so wrong with that pressure. And it went wrong in the UK, but this was worse. Ben, sorry you didn't get your redemption, but I'm so glad that you're safe. Before America's Got Talent, you know, I was, a, I was the starving artist, driving 12 hours to get to a show that I was barely making, you know, two, three hundred dollars on. Well, obviously I have a uh, disability. Um, I think the technical term for it is being very handsome. <laughs> I don't know how many people can pinpoint the exact moment where everything changed for them. I can. You are funny, you are a star, and I believe that you should be in the finals here. At that point, my brain was like, all right, well, let's win this thing. They'll be like, OK, Ryan, you don't want to learn to swim? You know, they, they kept eliminating people, and I wasn't one of them. Ryan <laughs> Miller! These are the three best new acts in the country. That feeling of just, I could be a millionaire in the next, like, 10 minutes, <laughs> you know? It was right there. The act finishing in third place, Ryan Niemiller! It's hard not to think, maybe I could have done more. You know, give me one more set and I'll win it, I promise. Uh, but I didn't have that chance. Give it up for Ryan Niemeyer. My life has still changed in such amazing ways. Now, instead of me driving five hours, like, I'm having fans drive five hours to come see me. You are among the best of the best in the world. I feel like I belong here, so yeah. I'm excited to go show people what I got. I am one of those people that got very close. I didn't win, and that's what I set out to do. Very funny comedian who did really well this year. This, this is my shot to, to win. Thank you. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Hi, Alicia. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I hear you did very well in 2019, right? I did. Got third place. Congratulations. Third place. Thank you. So what would it mean to you to win champions? It would mean the world to me. You know, third place ain't bad but it also ain't first, <laughs> so. OK, Ryan. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. I have a good feeling about this. He knows what's up. He seems confident. He's happy to be here. He wants it. Oh, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited. AGT has changed my life already in such amazing ways. Uh, it's given me so many new possibilities to mess with people, which is fun. Um, every time I'm at the airport, like, people are recognizing me a lot, and every time someone recognizes me, they always approach me this way, which is so strange. They'll be like, um, uh, are you the guy from AGT? So I've just been saying, no. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> Tell me what specifically about me <laughs> makes me, do you think we all look the same? Some of you look really confused right now, and I love that. You're very uncomfortable. That makes me very happy. You're not used to a handicapped guy being this confident. I love that. Some of you, that, you don't even know where to look. I love it. It's so much fun. For, you're, you're like pretending nothing weird's happening below the neck, which is very sweet of you. 
Like, having these arms is the one thing I have in common with a woman with huge boobs, just people struggling to make eye contact as they talk to you. My eyes are up here, Howie, all right? I'm here. And this disability is like a superpower for me. I can take even the most negative situations and make them fun for myself. I guess a true story, a few months ago, I totaled my car. That part, not funny, I understand that. <laughs> um, I did find out though, if you get hit by a semi on the freeway, it wins, all right? I figured that out for everybody, you don't gotta do it. So after I got hit by this truck and I was getting my bearings, trying to make sure I was okay, the driver of the truck, he got out to check on me. <laughs> and as he turned the corner and saw me for the first time, you could see the moment on his face where he went, Oh my God, how hard did I hit him? <laughs> and it didn't help that I just looked at him and went, help me look, help me look. <laughs> they gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> all right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you all. Thank you so, so much. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. You're a Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. Alicia Dixon. Go on, hit me. You started your career as a singer and sold 42 million albums and won 15 Grammys. Oh, wait a minute. That's Alicia Keys. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Be vicious. Howie Mandel. What? I found out that you were in 40 movies in your whole career. 40 movies. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, me neither. I haven't heard of any of them. Um... Big Terry. Hey, hey. <laughs> For seven years, you were a pro footballer and you played 32 games. I'm seven years old and I've played more games than that. <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Mark entered Britain's Got Talent in 2018. 18. It was the most incredible experience of my life. My name is Mark Spellman, and I was a semi-finalist on Britain's Got Talent. Are you a magician? I am indeed. The first audition was amazing. This app is going to change your life. To get the golden buzzer, was incredible. I had a lot of people telling me that I could win. The act going through to the final is Griffith win. But it's like, and I was out. I was so disappointed. And I remember thinking, you know, that can't be it. There has to be a way. And that was the birth of X came back again as an anonymous character who didn't look like me, didn't sound like me. I am X. I have no idea who you are, but what you do is unbelievable. I made it to the final. And when the mask came off, the emotion was overwhelming. I am X. 
absolutely dumbfounded. But I still didn't win. Colin Thackeray! I was runner-up, and now we're here at the Champions. OK, here we go. This is my chance to finally do it. Since Britain's Got Talent, X has become so much more than just me. We can all be X if we want to be. Good evening. Good evening. It is an honor to be here in this great nation. nation. You have all seen so many wonderful acts throughout your time. I am sure there are certain acts that stand out for each of you. On the other side of these cards are some of the most memorable people related to got talent around the world. Simon, you can see there are 10 different colors. Please tell me which one you would like. I'll go for yellow, please. Heidi, can you tell me which symbol you would like? The smiley face. Alicia, please choose any letter. S. And finally, Howie, choose any number here. Unlucky 13. A moment I didn't foresee. Simon, your color. Huh? Heidi, your symbol. symbol. And Alicia, your letter. We're always going to be yours. Howie, we'll get back to yours in a moment. moment. Simon, oh. Heidi and Alicia, if you had made any other choice, the results would have been very different. And you'll agree, there are many choices you could have made. However, Howie, you can see your photo is still there. At the beginning, I mentioned that you all would have certain acts that have stood out in your minds. Howie, who would be one of yours? Um, don't, don't be offended, but it's it's magic, it's Shin Lim. Strange. Strangely, Howie, you didn't choose yourself, but instead you chose... Shin Lim. No. How is that even possible? This was the ending I think most of us were expecting. But we must always expect the unexpected. At the beginning, I said we can all be X if we want to be. And that includes. I just got chills. Oh my god, no way! Chills. Literally, I have chills. That was fantastic.
looks like he was freaking yeah. me out. I couldn't believe it. Okay, Simon. What? This what? would have been my golden yeah. buzzer. But Simon likes dancing guys from space. <laughs> Don't blame me. Uh, Mark, look, this is the third time we've met. I think it was probably your best performance we've seen from these so far. Oh, really good. I would put you through to the semi-finals in a heartbeat. I think it was spectacular what you just did. Thank you. Thank you. Hi YouTube, it's me Heidi. So please make sure to subscribe because otherwise I'm just not gonna stop the modeling. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And this and that. Are you subscribing? No, I have to keep going? Okay.